青き月ペイリオ赤き月クリムゾン私はいかなる代償を払ってもまさかこの星の土をまた踏めることになろうとはな私はレインフォルスクリムゾニアの大使であるあの悲しい過去を少しだけ忘れることができたラングリッサーそしてアルハザードの力その正体は青き月ペイリアを操る者常人には扱えぬ力なのだクリムゾニアのために全てを覆すラングリッサー Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be doing Brain Forces Gates of Fate. So, there's going to be five battles in this video, and to do so, I am going to have to equip him up. And let's just give him the gear from, let's say, I don't know, Zerida? And throw that onto him. So. Since he has samurai soldiers, he's able to fight at both one range and two range this way. And in addition, for his Gates of Fate, I know that I need to bring Brenda, I need to bring g i z a r o t h and I also need to bring Sigma. So there's three characters you have to bring for his Gates of Fate. So I'm gonna have to equip up those characters as well to do those. So let's just see.、Um, g i z a r o t h s already fully equipped. My g i z a r o t h is pretty well built, so he's fine. Sigma needs a set of gear. And actually, my Sigma is infantry class. So I'm just going to have to give him a set of infantry gear or cavalry gear. So maybe just grab it from, I don't know, Leon or De Hartel?、Right. Leon has a balanced blade set. So maybe I'll just steal De Hartel's set. Alright, so that's the second character that will be equipped up.、Uh, Took the mirror armor instead. Okay, there we go. So that's this. And also took the wrong weapon, it looks like. Annoying. Okay. Now we're set up. Okay. So Sigma's set up. Rainforce is set up. g i z a r o t h is set up. And finally, I need to set up Brenda, who is over here, currently without any equipment. So, you know what? Yeah, let's just throw on the onset so I don't have to keep searching. It's a balanced blade, but it should be okay. Alright, so now all four heroes are configured. Let's jump in to the Gates of Fate at this point. So, Rainforce, go to the first one. And the first one's called Madman's Knowledge. Okay, just a quick point. Oh, I actually have to go into the Gate of Fate itself. Annoying. Okay. So if I click on Brenda, right? The reason I need to use Brenda is her, you have to help Rainforest complete his Gate of Fate 5. So Brenda must be brought for the fifth battle. Okay. And as for the Rainforest Gates of Fate, well, for his bonds. Crimson Planet needs Gizaroth, and then Spiraling Destruction needs Sigma. Presumably, battle number four and battle number five. We'll see if that's the case. Right? So, okay. With all that mentioned, let's jump into the first one Madman's Knowledge. Before it all began, Rainforce was a happy young man. Feats here is stop the rebel leader from calling for reinforcements, and no allied reinforcements are killed. Hmm. Alas, chill has spilled the beans. Staying in that gloomy place all day really makes one quite dull. Hey, Shalinka! How dare you call Crimsonia's most advanced Crystal Magical Research Institute gloomy? Do you really understand your responsibility, my prince? I should have long guessed that this guy would still be here. Shilin? Bunch of old dying brigands from old dying stars. I'm afraid you can never comprehend this beauty. 
You didn't mock me like that when you first pursued me. I miss the days of following you when we were little. I'm only two years older than you. Magic machines, eh? Beautiful, mysterious, but lacking in depth. Sword of Decimation. When Brenda was innocent, I guess. So let's just get started. And I just need to make sure this rebel leader can't call for reinforcements. So which one is the rebel leader? The one at the back. Let's see. So let's move down and toss out. Sonic Blade. Oh, didn't do enough damage to kill. But let's just charge forward then. And I'll just wait with the others. That went pretty smoothly. Down goes that rebel leader. I somehow I got to act again because I built up I guess seven stacks of otherworldly force right and I can just finish off the fight at this point
Okay, so maybe Brenda is not so innocent after all. Everything is progressing as planned. So let's move on to the second battle. Birthday. The weapon that has been created for the glory of an ancient waste began spurring the wheel of fate. So victory condition is that reinforced reaches the escape point. And you have to reach the evacuation point in four turns and attain victory without defeating Brenda. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to go back on this one because I think I might need to get a pair of speed boots on terrain force. Right. I don't think free mobility will be enough, so I'm just gonna remove the Slayer's emblem here for this battle and throw on a set of speed boots with breathing chant. There we go. Alright. So let's jump in to battle number two. Hmm. 
Jacksonian bastard. Alright. So, let's see. The end point is over there in the top left. And you have to reach it in four turns. So, let's begin. Wow, that's a very ugly green. All right, so what I'm going to do at the start here is I'm going to kill off this Crimsonian Rebel here and then slide stride forward three tiles. So this other Crimsonian Rebel will attack me. No, whatever. Another one. Yet another one. And that makes five. So, I'm gonna move three and take down this one. I'm just gonna wait here, I think, because I wanna build up the seven stacks so that I can act again. Let's just try moving forward and see how this goes. Six and seven. So now I can act again. So I'm going to charge forward and strike and shift forward three. Otherworldly Force activates. Right? It's turn three, so I can move up another one, two, three, four into the end tile. Evacuation point in four turns. Attain victory without defeating Brenda. So the third battle, one who gazes into the abyss. As you gaze into the abyss, the abyss gazes back. Defeat Chaos. Feats here are only place two heroes on the battlefield and attain victory in eight turns. So let's get started.
200 year cycle. Alright, so for this third battle, the feats here are place up to two heroes on the battlefield and attain victory in eight turns. So I'm just going to have Rainforce and I guess I deploy one other character to deal with Chaos, right? So I don't think it really matters who I deploy in that sense, it could just be anyone who can strike him. So why don't I deploy someone fast? Hopefully that would maybe let me in the fight faster so leon perhaps luna doesn't really matter someone who has high mobility but since i stripped the gear from leon i guess it'll have to be luna all right if you want to be safe though you can always deploy someone who can self-heal right um, you know, for example, Shafaniel, I believe, has reinforcements. Elwyn can heal himself, stuff like that. So it's perfectly viable to deploy someone who can self-heal to do the battle. Right? That way that you can guarantee that they stay at full hit points. In any case, let's just begin. I'm going to use Luna. I don't think they have enough stats for me to worry about that. So I have to cover Shalinka, right? That's what the quote just said. So let's see how this plays out. So I'm going to start with Rainforce, attacking the Skeleton Master then, and being ready to deal with the Succubi. And let's just move Shalinka up for now. And I am going to just have Luna fashion buff up for now. So, more enemies spawn. One thing I should mention is the God of Chaos has Descent of Chaos. All damage taken reduced by 100%, immune to fixed damage, and all damage dealt increases by 50%. So a whole bunch of annoying buffs. So let's, for now, wipe out this second eye and go from there. I'm gonna have Luna help out for now. Get rid of that. And start moving north. And I'm just gonna move Shilinka up. Alright. So. Let's have Luna. What about another Hellhound for now? And I'm going to have Rainforce. What about the Flame Skeleton? And back off. And then Sh Shalinka can start stepping on these tiles. Right? And when she does, she clears it. 
So, and by clearing the tile, Chaos gets plus 10% damage taken. So that's how you win this fight. Okay. So... For now, I'm just going to have... Rainforce, continue to wipe out this sacrifice. Let's just place Rainforce here. Okay. Shilinka needs to continue to grab these tiles. And I'm going to start having Luna move north to fight against Chaos. <laughs> and there we go. Didn't we even really need to use... With 10% damage, I was able to crush Chaos just like that. You might need to trigger more of those tiles for your Shilinka uh, with Shilinka to make Chaos more killable, but in my case, just 10% damage was enough. Two heroes placed on the battlefield and attained victories in eight turns. The obedience of a god? Wow. High priest of the red moon of the past? Magic cannon. Hmm. All right. So now we're on Crimson Planet. So for Crimson Planet, the character to use is Gizaroff. So we will get started with that. So. The city and the land burns. Can the Sword of Decimation rewrite this tragic ending? Defeat the magic soldiers. You have to defeat Weber and attain victory in five turns. So let's begin. Most wanted criminal of the rebellion, our oppressor Rainforce.
and it is you can't see the wood for the trees. That's a really, really bad translation. Anyways, so defeat Weber, attain victory in five turns, and defeat the magic soldier, I guess, is the main goal. Yeah. Is there any rules about keeping the allies alive? Nope. So, Gizroth is a must. And I guess I'll just play Shafinio, my AoE attacker. Shafinio makes everything easy, since she can launch endless AoEs. Alright, here we go. So, what skills does this guy have? Attacks all enemies within three straight lines in five blocks. So I'm gonna start with a heaven sanction. To hit all of these enemies and wipe them out. And start moving forward. I'm gonna drop Gizroth's construct. And it got buffed. Let's turn the danger zone first though. And I'm gonna try having an attack Weber. That battle in the south really doesn't affect me, so we'll ignore it. And at this point, I'm just gonna have Shafinio toss up Demolish. And that wipes out Weber. So then, I just need to kill off the magic soldier. So why don't I have Reinforce, charge forward, and melee attack, and finish it off. Quite easy. Shalinka is so arrogant. Why would she why would Weber say long live Crimsonia if he's so against the Crimsonians? Wouldn't it be long live the rebellion in that case? Or long live humanity? <laughs> Anyways. So defeat Weber. Attain victory in five turns.
looks like Shillin can't control. Yep. Shillinka Sh can't control the power of chaos, I guess. the destruction, desire, and darkness in your heart drives you to act, you will never escape the curse of chaos. You have truly created a wonderful world of chaos. Perhaps I should let you become my agent. You seem much more useful than that puzzle. No, I'm an agent. But a reincarnation. Uh oh. Alright, so Crimson Planet is done, and that gets me the fourth bond of Rainforce, even though I don't even have his second and third one. That's okay! And then the fifth one requires Sigma and Brenda. So let's jump into that battle. Spiral of Destruction. After the point of no return, the collision of the two swords will result in... And you, the goal is to defeat Shalinka. You can only place three heroes on the battlefield, and you approach Shalinka in five turns and awaken her will. My love, interesting. Shalin. Ah. Not bad, not bad. Just call it Al Hazard. She's sobbing. Pleading for me not to hurt you, not to hurt the red moon. The dangerous red moon must small must fall. Giant spacebound weapon that uses mana to control the sword of decimation. You cannot interfere with the will of a god. You shall perish like a rag. Goodbye. After I'm done with the red moon, this planet will become a paradise of chaos. And he acts like an emo boy all of a sudden. <laughs> they really didn't explain the Pelier threat very well. Such a useless prince after all. Shilinka Kaise. 
the sword of decimation. The Crimsonia for everything on earth, Peliath cannot fall. A prince of a colonial empire wants to play the role of a world savior? The demand of you Crimsonians really are more complicated than those of the earth. What keeps you going? I'm curious. When I invaded this girl, I realized what was in her heart. Honor for her race, thirst for power, and her love for you. Shalika, Shalika I'm sorry. But you're different. You look like a naive child, drifting around on a whim. You sympathize with those wretched earth dwellers, but you also understand that you cannot escape your destiny as Prince of Crimsonia. So you shirk your responsibilities. So then, for what reason do you fight? Why can't you just accept your fate and die? I fight to bring back Shilinka! position you shall taste your own weakness all right so only three heroes as mentioned and they have to be Sigma and Brenda And I think I'm going to have to change up Rainforce's gear, unfortunately. Wait, everyone's... Everyone's just as bad! 600 attack, 600 attack, you know? Four... well, well, let's change up Rainforce though. Because he still has the speed boots, so I think I'm going to have to replace that. So let's just quickly go back. For this final fight, I'm going to need something a little bit better than those speed boots. So let's switch back to the Slayer's Emblem. Right. And... I guess I don't have any other attack skills unless I, you know, go into a Swordsman class or whatever. So, well, I guess we'll go, I mean, the Swordsman class has the Air Slash skill, which could be quite useful here, but uh, I guess we'll go without. Let's just begin. I don't really want to use a Runestone on him, so since I have him in his Archer class, he will remain in the Archer class for this battle. And here we go. So, just gonna skip the storyline this time around since I just went through it and let's try this out so fortunately Sigma is infantry here but these guys have sleep oh man okay so maybe I'll just work my way up the right side because you don't have to kill off all the enemies, right? You just have to defeat Shalinka. Alright, so let's give this a shot. And let's begin. so much burden. Now it's my turn. Let me release you. It's pointless. She can't hear you anymore. No, I can feel it. Shalinka's will is still there. If we can just get a bit closer to her, I'm sure I can do it. Okay. So... I guess I'll start with Brenda using Onrush. And have reinforce range attack the skeleton master and start running forward. And 
finally... Sigma can provide a faction buff to the others. So now what I need to do is I need to keep pushing forward, right? So why don't I have Rainforce attack the Flame Skeleton and start shifting up. Oh, Breeze activated, which is convenient. And I'm going to have Brenda. If I didn't get Silence, I would have used Strike to get into range, but since I got Breeze, it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have Brenda attack the flame skeleton here. And Sigma is just gonna chase the others. Okay. So now... I guess what I'm gonna do is... Have Rainforce. Strike the Ended Knight. And keep shifting forward. Another Breeze activation. Brenda can attack the Skeleton Master and kill it off. And run forward and activate Paragon of Elegance, I guess. And keep running right ahead. And Sigma's just all the way in the back, whatever. Right? He was here to fashion buff up the others so that they were able to do more than they would otherwise. So, I might as well just move up and toss out the Sonic Blade here. Right. Currently has the Scent of Chaos, so not really damageable. But it's turn 4, so I do reach Shilinka by turn 5, fortunately. So, let's have Sigma move up. And I'm just going to end Brenda's turn. Right? There's no point in attacking when it won't do me any good. Alright. So, turn 5. I get myself next to... Shilinka. This girl's soul has already vanished. The Blood Moon is about to launch. Her wish will not be fulfilled. Feel despair before absolute power. Wish? Your wish, what is it? <laughs> Can you feel chaos rain? Then accept your fate. I should know your wish, Shilinka. Yeah, that light. It's so unsightly. Could even a fake really have such power? Okay, so, Shilinka is screaming now and calls for rain. I'm sorry, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't protect Crimsonia. You protected me. You bore the curse of this sword. Now I will save you. Rain. Damn it, such willpower. It's getting hard to control. This is the end, Chaos. Save the girl. No. What else is new? So, let's activate Strike can't, so let's just block. And I guess I will activate Fashion Buff here for now. Oh, okay. So once. So all the enemies start approaching then. Once Shalinka has been awoken. Black 
Oh. So what's next? Wind. Damage taken increased by 50%. So let's onrush. Boom. So I don't think I can kill Shilinka. So I'm just going to move up Sigma. And I'm going to just, I guess, retreat Rainforce for now, because I don't think I can kill Shilinka. So Brenda takes the hit from the Gargoyle. And now, I'm going to have to use Sigma, Ranger's Heart. And attack at 2 range on Shalinka. And that will finish her off, ending the fight. No, impossible. That sword, it's obviously a fake. The hour of chaos has arrived. I can't resist it. Ah! Hand over the body and go back to the gate of chaos. But you can't stop Pelia. Fall as God wills it. If it's the sword of decimation, then I can. <laughs> the countdown has begun to Crimsonia's destruction. It's over. Even if you defeat me here, you can't return to the Red Moon. That's right. It's over. For you and I both. What did you say? This fake sword of decimation may not be able to directly control and stop Pelia's launch, but I have sent a movement revision to Pelia. For the comet strike, the revised target is this airship. Ah, you're conniving. It's over. Now we can all escape from this damned nightmare. Yours, mine, Crimsonia's, and the Earth's. Alright. So place up the three heroes on the field and approach Shilinka in five turns and awaken her will. And there we have it. Here again. His Royal Highness has asked me to bring you back. Come, let's go. Shalinka, look up at the sky. That blue thing. It's Gaia, isn't it? What's so special? Was Gaia always that beautiful? Nobody ever told me this. That's not the home of the Crimsonians. There are just ground people working there. The ground people also play with magic toys. Mom says there are gods there. What's a god? I'll tell you a secret. Mom says that gods can make your wishes come true. I don't think that's what chaos does at all. Then I wish. I wish that godmother won't yell at us when we go back. Sonia and Guy in the future, that rain, you will always be innocent and happy. Hmm. It accelerated the exhaustion of mana. 
Red Moon and Gaia have become enveloped in war. Without the power of the Sword of Decimation and the Demons, the war will descend into a crueler abyss. Couldn't protect anything. So why is she back in Langris and Mobile then? <laughs> I feel a bit lost there. Well, in any case, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this one useful. And on that note, Nitro out.